Hello. This tutorial is intended for applicants who have started a new permit application with Building Department at City of San Jose, utilizing SJE Plan also known as Project Docs. It will demonstrate the features and steps an applicant must take to complete their task for submitting their permit application documents for the first time. Once your application starts in Project Docs, you will receive an email notification similar to the example shown here. You must have already registered for an account in Project Docs to be able to access your application. If this is the first time you are using Project Docs, you have received an invitation email to sign up for your new account. If you have not set up your account yet, please refer to our other tutorial videos on new account setup and access and navigation through different pages of Project Docs. To access your application, please click on Start Task button in the notification email. You will be routed to the login page of Project Docs. Enter the email address and password for your account and then click on Login. You will be routed to the project page and your task e-form will automatically open. Task e-forms in Project Docs open in a separate pop-up window. Please ensure your web browser does not block the pop-ups on Project Docs. You should refer to documentation for your specific browser in case you need help disabling the pop-up blocker. You may need to scroll down the e-form to see its entire content. You will see the title of the current task for this e-form at top of the screen. Applicant Upload and Submit Task e-form is comprised of several steps. In step 1, you can invite a new user to this project by adding them to the group selected from the drop-down menu. For example, you can add the property owner or their representative to the Applicant View Only group, which would allow them View Only access to this application. However, a member of View Only group will never be assigned a task. You can also remove a previously added user from the selected group using this section. Please note, only one user can accept and perform a task in Project Docs at any given time. All tasks related to plan review activities can only be performed by the user who has been identified as the ePlan applicant at the time application was created. The upload and submit task shown here would only be accessible to the ePlan applicant who is the member of the group called Applicant. Scroll down to Step 2. Step 2 provides the ability for you to upload the submittal documents for your application into Project Docs. All files uploaded to Project Docs must meet the building department's electronic plan review guidelines. Files with incorrect names cannot be submitted. An Excel spreadsheet to facilitate conformance with file naming convention has been provided along with the application. To access this file, close this e-form. Then navigate to Files tab. Click on the folder called Resources. Here you would find helpful resources related to your application. In this sample application there is only one file. Select the Excel file and then click on Download button to save a copy of the file into your own computer. Then open the Excel file. At the top of the page, you will find two cells in yellow color that must be filled out. Enter the application year and sequence number, as seen in Project Docs, in their respective cells. Tables below now show the acceptable file names that conform to Building Department's file naming convention for Project Docs. For files that are to be uploaded to permit center documents and forms, you must include a short descriptor text at the end to identify the content of the file. You must thoroughly review the information shown in this spreadsheet along with other guidelines for electronic plan review submittals through Project Docs to ensure uploaded documents meet all the requirements. Non-conforming or incomplete submittals would result in delay of the application. Please note, 
the Excel file contains all possible acceptable file names that may be required for an application type. However the scope of your project may not trigger use of all these file names. For example, if your project does not utilize prefabricated trusses, then no files related to trusses would be required. Please also note, each Excel file is tailored to the application type in which it has been provided. For example, if your application is for a commercial or industrial project, Excel file would be different, as seen here. For some types of applications, like commercial projects, some file names may contain a suffix only if file sizes are such that they exceed maximum capacity of upload or in cases where specific nature of project would require dividing the plans or calculations into a few separate volumes. Documents submitted in different cycles of review shall not be marked as volume numbers. Project docs will automatically maintain the sequence of the files uploaded. Content of each file as submitted for first submittal must remain the same throughout the entire course of application. In general, file names are comprised of an eight-digit number, indicating application year and sequence, plus a predetermined phrase, indicating the content type, plus an optional suffix for special cases noted before. Once you have entered the required information in the Excel file, you must name all the submittal documents, matching exactly with the auto-generated names from Excel Sheet. For this example on a single-family residential project, a few examples of acceptable file names could be as shown here. Please note, except for descriptor text for permit center application forms or documents, all other file names shall be in uppercase. When you have completed naming of the submittal files, Go back to Project Docs and navigate to Task tab. Then click on the Upload and Submit Task link. Task eForm will reopen. Click on Plans button to open the Upload window for uploading your plans. You can always verify that you are uploading the file to the correct location by checking the folder location shown at the top of this window. You may use the Browse button to locate the file on your computer to upload. Alternatively, you can drag the files from any place on your computer to the upload window as demonstrated here. Please pay attention to the color coded messages shown at bottom of the upload window. For the first submittal, all files must be seen in orange color, indicating that new files that have never existed in this application are being submitted. In case an incorrect or non-conforming file is detected by the system, you will see the red message along with some hints as to the issues detected. For example, if you tried to upload the file for structural calculations into the plans folder, error will be raised. In this example it indicates that sheet orientation, sheet size and file name do not conform to the requirement for upload to the plans folder. For as long as any file in the upload window contains an error, no files can be uploaded. You must click on the red X next to the file with error to remove it from upload page. Then click on start upload button to upload the remaining correct files. You must repeat these steps until all submittal documents are uploaded to their respective correct folder. You can upload several files at the same time, if they all belong to the same destination folder. To do so, you must select all intended files in your computer, then left-click and drag entire selection into Project Docs upload window. Procedure for uploading files into all folders is the same. You can check that all submittal documents have been successfully uploaded to each folder from within the task eForm by clicking on each folder name and reviewing its content.
In case a file was uploaded mistakenly or if you needed to change it prior to submittal, you must locate the file and delete it using the trash can symbol in front of it. Then you can upload a new file as shown before. Please note you are only allowed to delete files during initial submittal process. Once you have completed the upload process, scroll down to last section of your task. Review all messages shown, check to confirm and acknowledge each item, to reveal the submit button. Then click on submit. You will receive one last message, warning that you would not be able to make any changes to the application beyond this point at this time. You must confirm to continue. At this point, your application has moved to next step for intake, which can also be seen in project workflow. Following completion of your task, you will receive a notification email similar to what is shown here, containing list of all files received by Project Docs. Please note, you must have accepted your task before uploading any files, otherwise files uploaded prior to acceptance of the task will not appear in this confirmation email even though they have been received in Project Docs. You can always verify all the files saved in Project Docs, by going back to the project page and checking the content of each folder. This concludes the tutorial on applicant upload and submit task for first submittal.